Hey everybody, Invisible Batani here doing a reaction and review for Fourth Impact performing Oh Holy Night. Uh, first off, I would like to thank everyone that subscribed to my channel because of my recent, uh, or I shouldn't say recent, but my last uh, Fourth Impact video. Also, with the not so recent uh, last videos. Sorry it took me so long. I don't really do reaction videos too often and I've been just random things have been happening so I've been sticking to like my main stuff on my channel. This is kind of the newer side doing reaction videos and stuff. So I do apologize that it's basically been like a full month since I've done um, a reaction video to 4th Impact. But I definitely have a lot of requests. I made sure I downloaded a bunch of videos today. Not just 4th Impact stuff, but there were some requests in there for just other things as well. And it's just been a long time since I've done uh, requested uh, reactions like I did like maybe two or three for like some random nerdy trailer stuff because I, I like those and that's about it I haven't really done anything else um, I did like that one high stranger video which is really weird but I went to get back into it and so I made sure I downloaded a bunch of videos that were uh, highly requested I have quite a few and I'm probably gonna kind of kind of dole them out like just a bunch at a time and maybe you know have a couple today maybe a couple tomorrow but we're gonna get right into this I'm excited to get back into it and just kind of get back into the flow of things with this. And this, of course, as you guys can see already, is actually like a compilation video, so it's not like, like there's some of this in here too. Also, wish I found this group earlier so I could watch this during Christmas for some reason. It just feels weird going into summer. I can hear the, uh, the harmony coming in. I couldn't think of the word. I was about to say the combination. It's actually nice listening to this song with the extra footage. A lot of this stuff I haven't seen yet, so it's actually interesting to, like, I've seen that performance, but it's interesting to hear them do this song, and it's like a fan, this is a fan video, so I don't believe it's from their actual channel, and it's just cool to kind of watch this and see, like, the different stuff that they've gone through and hear this song. And of course, it, it sounds good in general. I mean, that's obvious. Like, at this point, it's not like, does it sound good when they sing? It's kind of just, how is it good in a different way at this point? It's like, obviously, I'm going to enjoy the song and how they sing. That's pretty obvious. So, it's cool. Like, watching all these random clips and stuff, which are probably some requested videos that I'll probably end up watching fairly soon. So, just let you guys know ahead of time, some of this stuff I'll probably end up watching because I have a lot of requests, especially uh, a lot of X Factor stuff, boot camp and things like that. Haven't seen that performance for sure. Haven't seen that either. Yeah, that's, yeah a bunch of stuff I'm not haven't seen yet, so I'm very curious how what all those songs sound like and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to all these moments. I know I downloaded that video, so I'm really excited for that. This might actually be the first um, holiday song I've actually listened to by like a harmony sort of thing. Or harm yeah. Normally, I'm not big on uh, like holiday songs in general because you hear them so many times and it's always the same sort of deal. But this I like. Obviously, with the four, you know, four different voices, you get to have different variations and range. Obviously, multiple people uh, singing at different times. People doing backup vocals, someone taking lead, things like that. 
from famous people and stuff like that. Most of which I don't actually know. I knew like I know that last group I believe was one of the Christian. I know that's Simon Cowell. <laughs> I'm not big on that. I don't tend to know a lot of people. Like if it's rock, I got you. Rock, good. K-pop, probably good there. Maybe some J-rock. That's all I got. That was pretty good. No copyright. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so that was a good song. I'm sorry I'm laughing, but no copyright infringement. I see that a lot. Um, people do that. That's not how you get out of copyright strikes. Um, but that was really funny to me that that was in there. Because you see that a lot in the description. Like, no copyright intended. That's not how you don't do copyright because you say you didn't mean to do it. That's, that's not how that works. That just made me laugh. Sorry. But I like that song. Um, this one, I think, of course, with it being like a Christmas song, a lot of it, you know, was a lot of um, like instrumental stuff as well. So it was still good. But, you know, it's just the song itself. Like, there's a long chunk where it's like we don't really get to hear them sing and stuff like that. So, of course, they still did it great. So that's, those. oh, my phone's right now. I did, I left my phone on. So that's going to keep going off. So I don't know. There it is, yeah. So I'm sure you guys can hear that because my camera is so dumb, but I'm going to let that keep ringing. But just to get to like the end of this, simply put, I actually did like that song. I just am not the hugest fan of Christmas songs in general. So even though I feel like they did a really good cover of the song, it's just not like my favorite. Like I've definitely heard like some of the other covers that I've listened to from them, I've enjoyed a bit more. And this is just... The song itself, even though I like the, the version that they did, because I like I'm really not a big fan of like Christmas songs. They never really just sound that entertaining to me. Like they never do. They always also have kind of the same style to them, really, because it's all about Christmas and it's the same stuff. It, it's just Christmas music. But I still did like the way that they did it. Um, for me personally, I said this is probably the least favorite that I've listened to out of the covers. You know, their versions of songs that I've heard them actually do. But that's solely based on the song. Like there are other songs that I've listened to where I didn't like the original version of the song but I love their version and some songs are just I just really don't like and no one can change it especially with um, Christmas songs that's another thing it's harder to change it up and keep it the same because they have especially with them being so old it's like it doesn't even remotely sound like the song if you change it so it's really hard to change it up like all they could really do and I think they did a great job with it is harmonized to make a difference to the song but like other songs where they could change up the pacing just a little bit and you can you know it's like oh that's kind of cool they changed up the pacing just a little bit here or maybe in certain parts they kept it the same in other parts they changed it maybe they changed the whole song as far as the pacing but it's really hard to do that with a Christmas song and not completely change the feeling and style of it especially because it's meant to be you know, a holy night or any other Christmas song is kind. Of, they're kind of meant to be slower uh, songs. If it's like you know an older song, unless it's like something that's actually made in the modern day, just around Christmas. But still enjoyed it for sure. Of course, we'd we'll love to know what you guys thought about this song. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts about Fourth Impact's version of this song. Of course, if you guys have any requests, whether it's Fourth Impact, any other music, any other types of videos, or anything that you guys want to see me do a reaction to, please put those down in the comment section below. And of course, thanks for watching.